Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Crack Pack. And guess what? I think I've changed my mind. I hooked up all my survivalist generators that I had made. I was trying to make enough to do the eight times survivalist generator. But I needed some more to get some of the pieces, the nodes and stuff that they go together with. So I only had enough leadstone flux ducts for this right now, but I got them hooked up. I finished off my leadstone energy cell, which has helped because this little this little setup is working quite beautifully. It just doesn't always have enough power, which is sad. Um, yeah, we've already run down a lot of this power, and that's even from four of those generators together. But we got some good stuff here, including some osmium ore. And I looked into this, and I need to make a metallurgic infuser, which I should be able to do relatively well. So let's put this stuff together. And I need to grab that osmium ore. Which, I, I didn't get very much, I so I don't know if it's rare, I hope it's not rare. I need to make two furnaces real quick, because I'm going to try a different type of power. So I can do this, there's a furnace, and then I actually don't have enough for my last furnace, there we go. Uh, so let's make our two furnaces. I ended up having three furnaces, that's always fun. That, wait, that goes there, and then osmium ore goes there. So now I have my metallurgic infuser. So I need this metallurgic infuser because I need it to do something. For now, let's just put it here. So hopefully it'll get energy from below. Actually, it'll get energy. Hmm. That's interesting because it'll get energy from. Well, let's not. Let's not do it that way. Let's do it. We're going to put this thing here. This thing, no, as a generator. So I still have one more survivalist generator. And my metallurgic infuser will put, oh, I can't even put it there. We'll just put it there. Um, that should be okay. And I should have gotten a leadstone flux duct backed, backed. So I can do that. So that stuff, there we go. That stuff should be fine. So there, so now I'm not wasting the power. It's all going to that, that battery first. Hopefully it's coming into here. Yes, it does look like it's coming into here. And for this, what I'm going to make is a a or many wind generators. So they require three osmium, some energy tablets, and either an electronic circuit or a basic control circuit. But let's look at this first. It requires, wow. Oh, just a piece of redstone. And an iron in the metallurgic infuser. Wow. I, hmm. So let's see what happens when we do this. So if I'm going to put this here. Wait. Where'd it go? Wait. Where'd that thing go? I put the redstone in there. Did it suck it in? Yeah. I guess it just sucks it in. Interesting. So I've got one of these items. And then I need to make, let's see, I think if I make the basic circuit, I just need an osmium and a redstone in there. What does it cost to make the, I don't know, that's the same one, to make the basic circuit as opposed to the basic control circuit? A lot more. So this is actually, this would have helped me earlier as well. Where's that osmium? So let's put the osmium there. Another one of those. That should give me that circuit. And then I need to make... These energy tablets, oh, which is two more of those things. Four redstone, three gold, and two more of those things. Oh, I'm going to be out of gold, which is sad. One. So it looks like it just sucks those in. So I know I need two of these things for sure. What is that noise? Two. So I need four of them because I need two of those. So I need six more gold. What is that noise? That must be... That must be this guy. That's weird. Nope, nope, nope. There. Uh, so gold <clears throat> really is going to be my... My stopping point on this, which is really unfortunate. I got all that yellow right. I got diamonds. I have four 
gold, and do I really need... Need two of these are god dang it oh that is so unfortunate i can make this i do have some more redstone i found over in the uh in the block or in the thing and i turned them into blocks but for now let's just turn that turn that off and hit one of these up and do so i want to get ready to make these guys I got one of those the other one should be in here yep there's three of them in there so like that so there's one of them and i'm three freaking or excuse me i'm two gold short of making this that's a yellow right that's so dumb get all this stuff out of here trying to just pick through this and make sure well guys it looks like oh i'm full full up there i put all these it looks like I need to go down. I bet you actually. No sleep until Brooklyn. Uh, I didn't. I missed the chat. There's people sleeping. I don't even see it says that somebody's trying to sleep. Oh, oh. Trying to. Michael's trying to ritual. He doesn't want people to sleep tonight. So that's fine. Um, I bet you if I go down here. One of these I had a stairwell dug down. And I thought I saw. This is my or the very original one of these that I had. And I thought there was some gold in like a corner I saw. And I wasn't that worried about going and grabbing it. It was just out of the uh, the reach of the turtle. Oh, my little guy. Hey, there's a horse down here. Is this deep enough for gold? Probably, right? I need to be. I want to bridge across this. I've got to be really careful. Oh, there's gold. See, there's gold in the wall right there. So I know for a fact that I can... Did I bring a bucket? I do have a bucket. Let's uh, let's see if we can just go down and get, get this gold. I'm going to do it in this corner over here. Because if I can just grab this gold, that would be fantastic. Whoops. Make sure that that doesn't do anything dumb. Make sure I don't get shot off by a skeleton. Hi, horsey. Is this actually gold is the question. Yellerites! You son of a bitch! Do I even have torches? I don't think... I don't have torches. Slime. So the nice thing is I'm in a slime chunk. <laughs> There's some more redstone. Oh, he failed at his ritual. How sad. Um... Um, where did I put those? Eight. Shoot. Okay, hang tight, guys. I am going to do some running through of some of these, uh, some of these caves that are right down here and see. Oh, there's something right here. Let's see what's in here first. Oh my God, it's so dark. Oh, I don't have any more buckets of water. I'm just looking. I don't see any gold. Okay, let me do some yellow yeah, right. God damn it. Let me do some running around real quick. See if I can just get a couple more pieces of gold and come back for this windmill. Aha! Found some pretty close around the corner. Let me just grab this gold. Take it back. That should be enough because that should theoretically be enough for four pieces of gold. And granted, I'm going to need more. Oh, yeah, right. I was like, granted, I'm going to need more in the uh, in the future. But, I mean, that's as far away as I went, right? Right here. So not very far at all. Yeah, right. Somebody's definitely come through this cave already and, uh, and lit a lot of it up. So I said when I ran through a lot of this area earlier. Yeah, right. I, or when I was turtling this area earlier, I did notice that there was a decent, like, a uh, bunch of... It's that okay that's where that ended there was a decent chunk <clears throat> of uh caves and things like that that were lit up that it was opening up so something some running through here but obviously they did not make it their their home so anyways i'm gonna traverse the waterfall back up we will go finish making this windmill and let's see how well it generates for us and hopefully now that i've also learned something 
we'll be able to get my turtle set up and doing some work for us. All right, folks, here we go. Let us make the last energy tablet that I need. And then we should be good to go to make this guy right here. There it is. <laughs> I was like, did I not make enough of these? I could have sworn I made enough of these. And I did. I just didn't have it on me. So here we go. Boom. 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 And osmium. And by the way, I found a bunch more osmium. Oh, so majestic. I found a bunch more osmium. Uh, it was in one of the chests that the guy had, my little, my little turtle friend had dug up. So I threw it in this chest here. 31 more osmium. So maybe it's not nearly as hard to come by as I had once thought. Let's see, what are these guys generating? It doesn't actually tell me what it's generating. Um, this thing is using a lot of power. Let's get, though, I need to make some more leadstone energy flux ducts. Flux duct. Well, let's do flux ducks here, uh, which is just some redstone, some glass, and some lead. So that should not be difficult to make here. I don't have enough lead, though. Maybe I'm lucky and have more lead sitting in here somewhere. And if not, I can just move my lead. I have lead. It just might not be through this uh, through this process yet. That's silver going. Could have sworn I had lead. Do I not have any more lead? That might be all my lead. So I can't really make any more. Any more flux ducts, huh? That's going to make things a little difficult. I'm sure I have some more lead. Lead is not terribly uncommon. Let's get these ones out of there. There's my yellowite. And definitely not there, though. So let's just, yes, cobble. Let's do our thing with the cobble. Aluminum, there we go. Uh, let's go look. Oh, you know what? I did not check the hopper. The hopper itself might contain lead. There we go. Le lead's actually in the hopper, so we're good to go. So let me take the silver out. There we go. It's filled with lead. I don't need to worry about that. That should be done momentarily and give me enough lead to make some more flux ducts. And... Let's just do, let's just do that. Let's take it a minute. I need one more. There we go. One more to start. Is that not right? Other way around. I didn't need nearly as much as I thought. There we go. And then... And to grab the glass that I have in one of these chests. And yes, guys, don't worry. One day, one day, rest assured, this will all be organized. Boom. Leadstone flux ducts. Here we go. So now what I can do is not only hook the rest of these survivalist generators up, but if I don't even want to do anything with the survivalist generators themselves, and actually I want to set this stuff up where my turtle is going to be doing some digging. And what I found out is that we have the ability to keep some chunks loaded. Oops, which I did not know. I don't quite know how to do yet either. But it literally is one chunk that we can load. And I think it's in our claimed chunks section, which I can't really zoom in on. So I really have to be careful about choosing what chunk I want to keep loaded. All right, everybody, I'm back. And sorry about that, but I have got my chunk now loaded and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my little turtle on an excavate mission after I go get this, because he's going to be in a chunk that will stay, should stay loaded forever and should work as planned. And what we'll do, we'll take some of this stuff and redistribute this, obviously, since it didn't work right. Actually, what am I doing here? Take this and this. We'll take my caches. We'll get those all set up so this thing will run properly. And then we'll get our windmill set up and see how well it actually charges this battery up. And then it's something I'll be able to run when I'm offline and hopefully come back after a while and have a lot of charge in one of these one of these battery cells. <laughs> it's like that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all, but there we go. 
Now we're good. I still got all those axes and stuff on me, so what I can do is let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I'll take that back. We'll grab this other cache. I need to go get my item ducks, but we can get our turtle started. And there is a witch over there. I do see her. I see you fronting me, man. The zombie. Take whoa, the zombie hurts. That witch is gonna come after me too. She is after me. I don't have food on my bar. Oh my god. Uh, shoot. Miss my entrance. Maybe I can give her the skirt. Hopefully I don't hit any quicksand over here. Oh my god, I can't even. I need to get in one of these houses. Can I not get in this house? Oh god, no! <sighs> oh, she just took me right on out. I got stuck right where I did not want to get stuck. Do I have a sword sitting in one of these? I can go take her out with. I, I don't know what happens to your gravestone when it's in the ground or in, in the on the quicksand not 100% certain what happens but I really don't care if she okay it's just sitting there so that's fine and she's dead what did she give me my player essence of Jay Sano interesting I'm kind of afraid to break this thing If it's in quicksand. Okay, that's not good. I hope this doesn't drag me down somewhere and kill me. Get out. Get out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh cactus, cactus, cactus. That zombie's getting bigger. He's a furious zombie. Okay, he's almost dead. Big is this? <clears throat> there's so many things. There's so many items in this mod that I have no idea what they are. Okay, Fury Zombie's dead. I guess I can turn into a Fury Zombie. Is this also a Fury Zombie? Okay, they're dead. You're also a Fury Zombie. Where'd you guys all come from? Why are you so furious? Why are you so angry? You serious? Oh, is he, he's not even dead, is he? He's not. He's going to be like, oh, look at the Pegasus being stupid. He's going to die to my hand. Sorry, Peggy. Are you another furious zombie? You are. I can't deal with you right now, man. Can you just like walk into this cactus for me and become all furious and enrage yourself? Damn, you did. My let's ah, my flux ducks. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Basically, I need to take this battery. God, those horses look scary as hell up there on that edge. I'm taking this battery out of here. And for now, I guess we'll just let that hook up and power itself very, very, very slowly. Because this will be in the chunk loader at least. Let's get these down. Excavate 10 so that he can start doing his thing. Um, I can then take my windmill. Let's take a look at what this dude looks like. Boom! Generating. Looks like it's generating good power. Looks like it's generating real good power. Can I just put this like right in front of it? It wow. This thing. This thing generate fast as hell. Hell. 
hell yes. I'm I'm extremely happy with that. I forgot my servos. Uh, I am extremely happy with that. I wonder if I can just... Wow. That is going to work freaking amazing. I'm going to take this. This. My hopper. I probably don't even need the hopper because I can use all these item ducks. Uh, I should take an extra extra couple chests for when everything is said and done. And let's go. Oh, I need my servos. I don't remember which one of these I threw all my servos in. It was on there it is. Preparing for that. I don't want the transport, but I need the item ducks. And that's all I should need to run this. Dude, these are way faster than the survivalist generator. Look at that. Look at this. Dude, this is... I'm going to make all my power out of this wind power. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, good thing it stays up because I didn't think that one through. Um, but we want these to come out. Basically, we are going to go... My pulverizer needs to be here. Will it get power from the back? It will... N oh, no, no. This thing needs to have the front face actually give out power. It will give power to that thing. Um, I am going to need to dig this out like this. Because unfortunately it won't. I don't think it will give power underneath it. Redstone furnace down there. So everything's going to go into the pulverizer. Is it going to be bad if I send everything into the pulverizer? I mean, what would happen? Can I do filters? on this stuff. I don't remember how that works. I think you can do filters on this stuff. So I could filter like the blacklist, like the cobble and stuff. Uh, oh wait, you know what? I can do this in a different way. I can move this over. Let me do that. Let me move this over. Are you, did I kill you? Oh, no, there you are, there you are, there you are, okay. Basically, the stuff that I don't want to go in there first. I don't know if I should only filter things or if I should just let everything run, but pretty much, let's do my item duct. Come back here. I have my item duct coming out of here. You are going to have a servo on you. Let's take a look at this servo. Blacklist and whitelist. Okay, so I can blacklist and whitelist things um, if I need to. I'm not 100% certain that I'm going to need to. Uh, if I take my item duct, though, and just go... No, no, no. I wanted you to go this way. This way. We're going to go to these... Um... I lost... I lost my other uh, caches. There's my dirt cache. What are the other caches? Did I... They're not... The cache themselves aren't super important. It's the... Oh, you, you know what? I bet you I dropped them off when I was trying to clear stuff up out of my inventory. There's my cobblestone cache. One of them. I had another uh, second one. And that looks like... That looks like it for the cache. But either way, we'll run it through the caches first. And then we'll run it from the caches. That's my full cobblestone cache. So that one doesn't even help me anymore. I technically just need a trash can at this point for, for my 
for this actually. Um, either way, we'll put dirt in there. We'll try to make a trash can and see what happens, but let's make an opaque item duct. We'll have it run over this way for a minute. We will put the windmill back up and running right there. I will put my battery on it so that it is just gaining power. In front of this guy, so I have a little bit of room to play with here. In front of this guy, I'll put my pulverizer. And then I will put... I need to get rid of this one. My furnace, like that. I will need to probably put the... That is the wrong thing. We'll go like that to make sure it also has power. We'll take the item duct... It'll go into here. So basically it should send everything out into the pulverizer. The pulverizer will then send them straight down into this furnace. And from this furnace, I can probably go like this. Well, no, no, from the furnace, I didn't even need that, right? I could just send them straight to a chest like this. And I think that'll work. So basically if I put in here um, like some tin ores. It's not going to pull them. Why is it not going to pull these tin ores out of here? Hello? Should be turned on. What if I do... Um... What is happening? Why do you not want to pull these out of here? Isn't that how this works? I got my servo on my item duct. Um, let me... God, this thing is full already. That's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Um, maybe it can't pump directly into there. I'm not a hundred percent sure why my item duct is, or my servo is not working. I never had this problem before. What am I doing here? Screw it. Um, maybe these servos can't do extract items slash fluids from something. Three seconds, max per second, we're filtered onto the blacklist, extracts from a single slot. Hmm. Like, that all seems okay. Well, either way, for now, what I can do is I can get back to this functioning though because this will at least at least until i figure this out this should be able to get my other ores that come through that was not what i wanted to do up there and i can just put in simple things like this stuff will aluminum ore that and this stuff should go through pretty damn quickly actually right oh i turn my i turn my slots off that's probably why this thing ain't pulling um so we'll do the blue from there but what if i put that into the blue as well it took my cobble 
Where'd my cobbles go to? Or did I take the cobbles out? I might have taken the cobble out. That's okay. These are going to actually... This thing is still so freaking full. This is like blasting through these guys. Into this chest. I got concrete out of that. So it's pulling those. Let's take. Let's turn the top off. Let's get this out of here. Didn't I turn the top off? There we go. Empty this out. How? How? I just. Oh, you went into the hopper. Okay. So no, this. Uh, no matter what, this still. Still about a thousand blocks away. Many, many cords. There it goes. What the? That took it through. Why is this taking so long? So now it's working. Does it only pull from... Oh, does it only pull from a half a chest? That, okay, that makes sense to me. I mean, it doesn't completely, and it's really annoying, but maybe I can make this work because I can take, hopefully make, oh God, oh God, oh God. <gasps> Did you just put me in the hole too? Oh, he's going to kill it all. Get, get off of here. Oh my goodness. Is he just going to fill up with my stuff? Oh, you son of a bitch. Because every time I start to record, I'm like, this is going to be a good episode. Things will not go bad. I'm on the right track. I know what I'm doing. And then I die. <laughs> over and over and over again. Where is this little piece of crap? Okay, you're dead, son. Oh, good. Okay, okay. My death point's down there, but my stuff is here. Jesus Christ. You piece of... Oh, it teleported me. Okay, so it didn't actually do anything bad. Well, I can't say it didn't do anything bad. What if I now do this and do this and put this here? Take my item duct, go like that. I can't believe it only pulls from one half of the chest. And he just dropped all that stuff off, which is starting to go down. What if I put this in here? I definitely need to have them both. What happens when this sand is going into the pulverizer? It's turning into silicone. Probably the sand isn't going to drop. See, this is going to be a problem because some of the stuff isn't going to drop through and it's just going to clog the system here. Um, so I almost need to, like, exclude the sand from it. So this isn't going to be a standalone as I wanted it to be because I need to do a lot of inclusions and exclusions to make this thing work. I am not pleased with, with these guys. Hi. Okay, he's dead. So there's there's a little bit more work to this that I have to do. Um, uh, oh, Jesus, stop, man. <laughs> so I don't know... So if he got this, I don't want to sleep if he's got the sigil going, unless he's, well, he's the one that's talking about it. Yeah, because I definitely don't want these going to the pulverizer. Huh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Well, either way, how about I get my caches set back up? At least my dirt will go in there. I probably need one for sand. Ah. <sighs> 
Because now I'm going to get a bunch of silicone, which I probably shouldn't take. I don't know what the orange clay is going to turn into. Let's find out what orange clay turns into. Stop it. So orange clay won't even go in to this thing. Um, so it probably won't pull out. But it looks like I should just make a bunch of caches for the things that aren't going to go into the pulverizer. Um, and then have them come out through. I don't know a better way to do it at the present moment. But I guess that's what we'll work on since I lost. I seem to have lost my other caches. I'll just make some more. And I'll get this thing set up. So hopefully it's a little bit more automated and able to be good to go but i this windmill power is definitely going to be my go-to source of power and hopefully what we can do is get rid of the turtle after a while and just do a quarry of some type whether it be an ender quarry or another type of quarry so it can run off of this power that we're generating from this windmill because this windmill is amazing uh, anyways guys thanks for watching another episode and i'll see you next time